Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got a new data pack to show you, but I haven't actually written it yet. I want to try something a little bit different where I take you with me on the journey of developing a data pack for Minecraft 1.14. Uh, so in this video, I want to make a piranha plant and I'm going to show you my plans first and I'll show you all of the progress as I add new features. And I want you guys to tell me what you think of the new format in the comments, but here we go. So piranha plants from Super Mario Brothers, uh, they come out of pipes and they try and hit you. Sometimes they shoot fireballs at you. What I want to do is make it so you can plant and farm them. So the way it's going to work is you'll have special wheat seeds that will be you know, renamed and retagged, and uh, then you can plant the, those. And as you do, a much smaller version of this model will start growing out of the ground. I'm going to use armor stands holding items like these and wearing items on their heads to sort of create a fake piranha plant out of those items. So it's going to be much smaller. The blocks here are about 37% as big when their model is being held in the hand of an armor stand. So it'll be much, much smaller. And, um, and so as you grow the wheat, uh, you'll also get a bigger and bigger piranha plant. And once it grows to full size, it'll, I don't know, hopefully do some cool things, but we'll see. And so a wheat has, uh, if you look over, whoops, if you look over here, there's an age. And as I bone meal it, it grows in age, age five. So age seven is fully grown. So I'm going to have seven pieces of stock. And so each sort of age it gains will add one onto the stock. And then it'll eventually have like the, uh, the flower and the leaves. The leaves will help cover up the wheat. So it'll look less like wheat and more like a piranha plant. And then once it gets fully grown, it's going to probably do some like animating. It might like go up and down or shoot some fireballs. Not really sure. Uh, this mouth, I think, can look a lot better when I'm actually using the armor stand and items and stuff because I can actually recess the blocks into the model. But I guess we'll see how that actually ends up looking. But I'm going to get started working on this data pack and I'll show you guys my progress. All right. So I've done the first iteration of the cosmetics. So here we have normal wheat seeds. They don't do anything. Uh, to actually plant a piranha plant, you'll need to reload the data pack, and when you do, it'll give you a little button that you can click in the chat. So when you click that, it gives you special piranha plant seeds, and these have a special tag, so you can't just like rename normal wheat seeds into an anvil. So when you plant those piranha plant seeds, we will actually see that plant start to grow. And so here's the first stage of the piranha plant. Um, let me go ahead and use game rule random tick speed. Uh, let's just set or set it to 500 and it will start to grow very, very quickly. So as the wheat grows, we'll also see additional stages of that stock grow. So there you can see uh, after a couple stages, it adds in some leaves on the side. And then after a couple more stages, it'll get this flower. And then when it finally finishes growing, uh, it gets a giant bulby, really thick head. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's pretty much what I intended to create. I think it looks pretty good. Um, these lips, are just kind of stationary right now. I think I want to animate them a bit. Now uh, I can just destroy the plants by destroying the wheat at its base. I can plant another bone meal works. So you can see, there we go, bone meal. Um, so, cause it's just using the, the growth stage of the underlying wheat as it's, um, yeah, to figure out how big the plant should be. So now I need to actually make the piranha plant do something cause as it is, it, doesn't do anything. So I think that's the next step. All right. So I have now added some functionality. Let's go ahead and bone meal this. And once it grows to maturity, we'll see there is some animation. So the lips move, it sort of chomps away at the air, but more importantly, it also moves up and down. And so what that means is we can do something like this, where we create a little pipe around it and, uh, and it'll come in and out of the pipe. Uh, you can put like a lip on the pipe. Unfortunately, when it's down, it does sort of peek through the pipe a little bit because I think this pipe looks kind of nice like this. It looks better than when you do this sort of thing. So I don't know. I, <laughs> I really like it a lot more like this though. But, uh, and then if you put a barrier here, uh, now I did actually make it deal damage. So let me go into survival mode and I gave myself jump boost three or maybe it's jump boost four. Four. Yeah, jump boost four. And so if the piranha plane's down, I can jump over it just fine. Um, but if it's up, it will damage me as I go through it. And if I just stay there while it comes up, it's going to damage me until I die. <laughs> so uh, that, that part actually works. 
And yeah, the animation overall, I think looks pretty good. It like just barely hides out of sight when it's down below and it comes back up. You'll also notice that like the, um, the, the flower moves at a different rate than like this part and the leaves. And at the bottom, this part doesn't move at all. So there's like three different animation rates. But overall, it ends up looking pretty cool. It doesn't like go below the block or anything like that. Uh, this because the stock comes down, but it just kind of goes inside of the dirt block. So it looks fine. So that's pretty cool. It's like actually working now, um, but I want to add something more. I want to make it so it can shoot fireballs. All right, fireballs. All right, so listen closely. You hear the eating sound, and now this piranha plant is a fire-breathing piranha plant. So he will shoot two fireballs every time he comes up. Um, basically, it will only track players. I did think about having it track other mobs. Now, the fireballs that it spits out are not like any other fireball in the game already. These are sort of custom. Uh, the way they work, maybe you can see it. Uh, you can kind of see it briefly when it spawns, but it's a slime. It's a small slime that's invisible. Um, now I overrode, oh, you can see it. There you go. I overrode the physics of it so that it'll, uh, sort of keep, keep its momentum a lot better and it'll keep bouncing as well. Um, uh, another cool thing, it does bounce on like these blocks. You can see it there. Uh, if you, if you line it up real nice, yeah, you can see it bouncing on the blocks. So it actually has pretty good physics. Now, whenever it hits a wall or like water, um, the fireball will poof out poof out of existence. If it hits a player though, oh, I was too far away. It only has a sort of vision of uh, 32 blocks. There we go. Ow. <laughs> yeah. So let's just, what? oh well. Yeah. So, so that works pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it with, let's do six. Man, I really love the animation when it turns into a full grown <laughs> piranha plant. It just sort of like pops out. I love that. Uh, but yeah, so let, here's six of them. Um, now I need to feed each one a uh, flint and steel. It can actually be kind of hard to feed them flint and steel because the neighbors tend to try and eat it. Like I think I fed this guy twice and I don't think I, yeah, this guy didn't get any flint and steel. Let's see if I can Maybe get it while it's like, yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, so I got it that time. Let's give myself some more of these. Try and feed these guys. Well, there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna get, I think I got all six. Oh no, this guy still doesn't have it. Yeah, I think I need to get it while he's uh, like over here. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so now they're all shooting at me, and it's like this fun little dodging mini game. Of course, it's very easy to just. Can just run around them because they're shooting at where I am, not where I'm going to be. They're not very smart or anything, but uh, you can imagine if you had like a big circle of them around you or something, it could be a fun little dodging mini game. So, yeah, it works pretty well at this point. I did consider putting the trying to put the mouth on the side of the piranha plant and then having it turn to face you, uh, but it turned out that was gonna be a lot more work than I thought, uh, so I didn't end up doing that. It's just, I've done that sort of thing before. I could do it, but this was a lot easier. Just spawning it on top, and like centered on top of the plant, piranha plant. Now there's a couple things left to do. So first of all, let's look at performance. So if I press F3, you look up in the top left corner here, uh, it says about 40 millisecond ticks. And so in Minecraft, if a tick takes longer than 50 milliseconds, um, you basically start getting lag because 50 milliseconds is 1 20th of a second. And so, yeah, you need to have at least 20 ticks per second, otherwise the game starts lagging. So if I, let's go ahead and remove all of these and we'll see that basically all of that performance hit is just, it's coming from the data pack. So yeah, now we're down to like five millisecond ticks, put them back in and um, that performance hit is basically coming from the animation. So let me, I also leave the th three menu up so you can see how that, um, milliseconds per tick thing goes up as these things get full grown. Oh, these guys didn't get planted, right? But um, yeah, you can see right now we're hovering around 50 millisecond ticks. So the game is, I don't know, starting to lag a little bit. I think you can see them kind of jittering a little bit. Yeah, we're up above 50 now, so they're gonna start jittering. So the performance is pretty bad. I think I might have some ways to fix that, but we'll see. And then I also need to make a way to get the seeds in survival because I want this to be usable in survival. 
Currently, I've just been clicking this give piranha plant seed button in the chat, but uh, yeah, some way to do it in survival would be nice. So those are the those are kind of the things I want to do to wrap up this data pack. All right, well, performance-wise, I was able to make a couple improvements. You can see, um, yeah, I've got like two to three times as many piranha plants as I had before. They're all kind of shooting fireballs and looking at the performance. Uh, we're going a little above 50 here, but so I made some imp I made some improvements, but it's still. I mean, it's not like you can grow fields and fields of these piranha plants, but that's okay. That's where we're at. As for a way to obtain them in survival, let me just move away. Man, it's a lot of fireballs. Luckily, they don't really do any damage to anything. So, yeah, those kind of bounce around. Uh, as for a way to obtain it in survival, you drop a wheat seed and you drop a mushroom stew. Give a little taste of the mushroom kingdom to those seeds and... Uh, they became these piranha plant seeds. I made them enchanted, mostly so that you could really just like tell that your crafting thing had worked. Because unenchanted and enchanted, you can see it on the ground, it worked. There's also, there's obviously a little uh, poof of smoke too, but yep, you can get piranha plant seeds and then uh, yeah, plant those wherever. Let's see if I can do this, let's see. Ha! It's really hard. No, I broke the block. It's, it's hard to do this with uh, Game rule, <laughs> random tick speed 5,000, but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's not growing because of the, I think the barrier block above it might be stopping it. Anyway, so there you go. That is the finished data pack. You can, of course, download this from the link in the video description, the finished version. I had a lot of fun working on this, and hopefully I gave you some insights into what goes into making a data pack for me. Obviously, I didn't show you any of the coding, but uh, from the sort of like the design perspective uh, how do you make it usable and um, you know design it so that it'll look nice and all that stuff so let me know what you think about this new format I'm, I'm really curious what you guys will think um, it's it's definitely a little bit different you don't get to see at the beginning this like cool finished product so I understand that uh, not as many people may have made it to the end of the video because they didn't you know I didn't give them as much as much of a reason to stay uh, but hopefully those of you who did make it to the end, you know, let me know if you did and, uh, and what you thought. That's about it. Thanks for watching.